Hello, my name is Nicole Shecker. I am the consultant and country manager of Clinique de Paris. So I am certified at the London Restoration Hair Academy to do the assessments and the consultations. So the easiest way actually to have a consultation is done online. No? And how is it done? Uh, firstly, we, uh, our live agents, uh, Patricia, Jessica, and Erin, are there 24-7. You can actually send us a message there to set up the consultation. So once a consultation, consultation is confirmed, it's about a 40-minute consultation. But basically, it's really an education um, and understanding of why you're losing your hair, the medications that are available to you, and ultimately what a hair transplant is all about. So at the end of the day, you can make a wise and informed decision and if the treatment is for you. What can one expect during a consultation? So firstly is you know getting a little bit of a history and background about your hair loss, well, you know when you've been losing your hair and what have you been taking as medications orally um, and, and topically as, as well. Get The doctors also get involved at a later stage to review your medical history as well. And what we do, or rather what I do, is you know walk you through and understand why you're losing your hair, the medications that are available to you, and what the technique is all about, what makes us different, and I guess, you know, why we are considered the most uh, advanced in the hair transplant industry. So it's all these solutions, um, a, ta a plan that is tailor-made or tailor-fit to you according to the expectations and what is suitable to your face. Now, my, my role is in the beginning is really to make you understand everything, what it is, so that when you decide to do a hair transplant, you know, you can be, one, you'll be super excited, Next is, is you will know and understand, you know, what it is that you're getting into. Because, you know, for most men, this is probably the first time they're ever going to get uh, a, a procedure, you know, for themselves. So it can be, um, can be a little bit scary at first, but, you know, after all these years, we have many patients that realize at the end of the day, it was, it was a sleepless night for nothing. Um, but we're here to guide you every step of the way. I think the most important thing is really education, understanding everything first about what a hair transplant um, is all about. Yeah, so what makes DHI a very different um, technique, no? other than the techniques that are available in the industry? So for one, extraction is done individually. The instruments we use are very fine, so there is virtually undetectable scars. The way the implantation is done is done individually and is directly injected to the scalp. So what it means is that the doctor can control the angle and direction of how your hairs are implanted. So when it grows, it means it's easier to style. It's the same direction as the rest of your hairs. The density is achieved because we can implant closer to each other as well. Um, and of course, at the end of the day, the most important is that the results look natural. There's no pain. Uh, you, of course, you have your local anesthesia during the procedure, but even post-procedure, it's very manageable as compared to, I guess, the older techniques that's available out there. Everything is timed. There is a sequence that we do. Uh, it's it's like a whole ballet, you no, know, with the medical team. One important aspect um, in the procedure is the hairline design and the distribution of the hairs. You no, know? this is a conversation that you have with your surgeon on the day itself. So, and there are many things that are taken into consideration, which is one, the measurements of your face, the shape of your chin, and the suitability, so that as you age, when you're like sixty or in your seventies, the hairline is still suitable um, it, and it looks very natural so only such time that you're happy with the way it looks the design and the distribution then uh, everything is signed off and once you and the doctor agree we can proceed to the next phase but you have your team you have your doctor here following your journey especially when you enter the first stage or which is a shedding phase now that is the first to the third month then as you enter the fourth to the ninth stage that is when you know the excitement comes in and ultimately my favorite part which is the one year results and when i see the patient it's really a, a transformation no? um, that is is very different sometimes i must say i i don't even recognize the patient but you will see 
a sparkle in their eye they have a very different smile and it's a it's a very transformative change for them which um, really makes me happy truly <laughs> You know, when one gets a procedure, it's not like, hi, hello, goodbye, we forgot about you. The doctors are personally committed to follow up actually with the patients up to one year. So they will message you one, three, six, nine, twelve months just to monitor your progress. No, I mean, getting a hair transplant is, is a long journey to see the full results. And I think it's important that, you know, we are there every step of the way so that you know, we also want to see at the end of the 12 months, your full results. It's very nice to see patients, um, to see that final look you know, on their face when, when they're very happy because it makes us very happy as well. So your, your, your day in the clinic is after your procedure. It's not actually your last day, but this is the first day with you and us as part of the journey because uh, as you will know, it takes 12 months to see the full results. So this is the part where we all want to be involved in your journey and in your process, where your doctor will be following up with you up to the rest of the year to monitor your progress. When we get to see you here in the clinic as well to do the other treatments, um, you know, it's a good time for us to also really monitor your progress and, and do some assess and assessments. Actually, this is my, personally, this is my favorite part because this is where I really get to see how the patient's hair, well, in this case, first the hair transforms. And eventually, as months go by, and especially at the end of the year, sometimes I actually won't even recognize them. Um, so it, it, it can be very life-changing. No? It can be very life-changing no matter the age um, one is at. So how does one choose a, a clinic? No? Um, well, I think for starters, I, I don't even think of ourselves as clinics because for me personally, and, and I think for everyone um, here, is that we treat our patients like guests. Uh, one, I think, is, is the setting first. Uh, it's a very non-clinical setting, of course, except the OR, but it's one that is inviting, it's, it's warm, the staff are very professional and friendly. We have come um, from all backgrounds, from the service industry, so I think service is very natural to us. No? In terms of, of course, on the medical side, everything is stop A. Uh, all protocols are adhered to, and the medical team and um, staff have been certified and also trained um, abroad. You know, when you have really a nice, when you have good hair, you don't really think about it. But when it starts to, you know, you have more hair fall, your hairline recedes, it can take up a lot of mind space. Hair loss really is is a uh, is always there you're always thinking about it especially i guess for men um when you know you try before i guess going to work or you know having your online meetings would spend like minutes just trying to fix their hair and especially if you're trying to conceal it so it, it can become a chore especially if you i guess have to do it all the time no and that's the reason why we have been seeing a lot of um, patients coming to the clinic is to help them firstly again understand why they're losing their hair I think that is the the key message first and then to do the medications and really what a hair transplant um, is all about a lot of people now you know during this this time is really into self-care and I think hair is also one of the very important aspects to consider no um, it's just like that feeling I guess when you have like good hair day a good hair day that is not really just you look physically nice because your hair is nice but more on how you radiate no and and how your day comes along hair loss can be scary but booking a consultation is actually quite easy so send us a message uh, so that we can book your consultation in a very private space whether it's here at the clinic or online you no know? we'd be happy to explain everything to you what hair loss is all about and provide you tailored treatments uh, according to your needs <laughs> oh.